Welcome aboard everyone. I'm Danielle and this is Staying Afloat. So a lot of you have been asking what my day-to-day -day schedule looks like. So this video, I'm going to break it down for you and go by day by day, the different things that I do throughout a cruise. Um, right now we are on seven day runs. So I'll talk to you a little bit about what I do on the seven day runs, what each day entitles, and um, I'll go through what life as a crew member is like on board. So first things first, I wanna tell you that everything isn't as it always seems. Life on board is hard. Being away from family, um, being away from home is um, something that a lot of people don't get to experience, but me as a self, being away from home is pretty difficult. So the first thing I wanna talk about is the actual truth about being a crew member here on board. It is not easy. One of the hardest things is being away from home and not being able to communicate with family and friends every day. Something that I am used to, and I'm sure a lot of other crew members on board are used to as well. But the internet is really expensive. And so we don't get internet really unless we go to port and find some, some free Wi-Fi somewhere. Um, so that's how I upload my videos is finding free Wi-Fi. Normally I go to Vancouver and I get them uploaded there. I'm very fortunate because I do have a international phone plan, so I am able to text um, family and call them sometimes, sometimes it doesn't work. But um, yeah, so one of the biggest challenges is being away from home and not having that communication with family and friends. The next thing I want to talk about is my schedule. So. Here is my schedule from yesterday. Mine is, whoop, this column right here, right there. <laughs> it's normally a busy day. We start um, normally at like almost nine o'clock, 8.30, 9 o'clock, and we start doing activities. We set the ship, which means we put out um, different games, lawn games if the weather's good, and make sure the library's clean. We have a beautiful library here on board. So we wanna make sure it's clean for all the guests and all the books are put away. And then we go through, we always have at least two trivias in the morning and um, sometimes like a challenge. Like um, yesterday we had bean, bean bag boss. And then we go throughout the day um, with different activities for guests, um, very minimal breaks, lots of bingo. <laughs> um, and then our evening, I normally get like an hour and a half to be able to um, eat food and then uh, head to an activity. We normally do like an evening game show and then an evening um, event. So we'll have trivia and then we'll do like a dance party or um, a big, the other night we had ABBA. It was an ABBA mania party. So that was kind of fun because I like Mama Mia. But if you don't like ABBA, you're stuck. So many of you ask what my favorite day is, and honestly, it's debarkation day. I get up early, I get up around seven, and then I start on the walkie-talkie getting um, numbers of luggage tags. And I normally am either in the theater or in the dining room, and I basically just call out people's luggage tags so that they know that their luggage is down there waiting for them when they get off. So normally I just, um, I do debark, and then I set the ship right after that. And my favorite time of the day is when nobody's on the ship where it's really empty and it feels like a ghost town. But you can just walk and kind of like breathe. And you know that anyone who caused issues last cruise is not gonna be on there for this cruise. I always make a joke that I'm like, okay, everyone that I didn't like is leaving today. So everybody new um, is coming on and I can get to know them. Um, some guests are really, really nice. I've met a lot of nice couples. Some people even gave me their phone numbers in case I was in um, their area and needed a place to stay. I've also had a lot of nice guests just come up and compliment me and um, tell me that, you know, they're coming back in a few months and they can't wait to see me again. So that's really nice. You also get some guests that are not so nice. 
um, particularly with um, trivias. So I don't write my trivias, um, but some guests want to fight about answers. So I just make a comment saying that like, I'm the trivia master and whatever I say goes. <laughs> as awful as it sounds, you have to do that because you will get people that argue with you. And some people argue with you in front of everybody and you just have to be calm. And there were a few times where like, some guests almost made me cry. And after trivia, I would just go in the back and be like, <sighs> and just be like, oh, they're leaving. It doesn't matter. It's just a day. Um, you have to do that a lot because some people are not as nice as other people. And coming from the South, even Southern hospitality is something very special to home. We don't really have that here. But like I said, there are a lot of nice uh, people who travel with us and I met some really nice people. Some even friended me on Facebook, so that's great. Um, but yeah, food. Crew Mess is open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I only go there for lunch. <laughs> breakfast I don't normally eat because Crew Mess food is very bland. <laughs> dinner, I'm very fortunate since I am in entertainment. I'm able to go upstairs and eat um, in the room with all the guests. Now we can eat at specialty restaurants and we do get a pretty good discount, but normally we only go to specialty restaurants for um, special events. So like today I'm going um, for Jenny's birthday. Jenny is a girl I met the first day, the very first day I met her on the bus. So um, that's really nice. We're gonna go celebrate her birthday. It's one of the things that actually makes me feel normal, <laughs> like going to get food for a friend's birthday. Um, I don't really feel like a normal human being here on board. And one of the hardest things is you go to bed and you wake up and you're still at work. So um, it's a big adjustment here on board to figure everything out and uh, figure out how to be a normal person. I always say like, oh, I get to wear my human clothes <laughs> because normally I'm in my uniform every day for all day so like when i go off i can finally be in human clothes my normal everyday clothes um which is very few because i didn't bring a lot with me here on board we also have a crew bar and a place called mingles where we all get to like, hang out and mingle um i don't go down to crew bar because it's the only place where crews allowed to smoke so it's really smelly down there so i never go down there mingles is where everybody hangs out normally we um, either play games or we just talk and um, it's the one place where we can go after work where we're not feeling like we're at work. So that's really nice to be able to go out and hang down there. Plus the alcohol is pretty cheap so people who drink a lot enjoy it down there. I normally have like one drink maybe but I don't go out that often because by the end of the day I'm exhausted and I have to deal with people on a everyday basis so at the end of the day, I'm tired and I really don't want to talk to anybody. <laughs> it sounds awful, but it's true. We also have a crew gym and a crew library here on board. I am not interested in any of the books there. Um, and I've gone to the gym a few times, but I do prefer going to the guest gym because it's a lot nicer and it doesn't make me feel like I'm in a shoebox. So many of you ask how we communicate here on board. We do have deck phones. Um, my deck phone is actually pretty nice. It's one of the nicer deck phones. Um, I can text people on it. Like I can text people who have um, this same kind of phone. Um, MJ, my co-host, has a tiny phone. And I don't really like that as much because at least this one I can communicate. If I want to send a quick message instead of calling someone because normally like whoever I need to contact is busy. So I'll just send them a quick text. Um, this emergency button is, um, it sends a, um, it says a SOS text. Um, to whoever you said it to. So mine is sent to Jenny <laughs> and uh, basically says, everybody's driving me crazy, help. <laughs> so you can change it and edit it. Um, I don't really know what it's supposed to say, but mine says, everybody's driving me crazy, please send help. So, and I added a little sticker on the back. It said be awesome today, but um, it's coming off. So I'm gonna put a new one on there just to make it feel like mine. So I tried to give you a quick rundown on everything that I do. If you want to learn more, make sure you leave a comment so I know like 
what you guys want to hear or what you guys want to see. Um, I didn't show you any ports this week just because I've been super busy and this is like the only moment that I've had. Um, but I do get a lot of questions about my day-to-day -day schedule, um, what I like and what I don't like. Um, but like I said before, being on board is very difficult. Um, this is a once in a lifetime experience for me, but I'm not sure if I will do it again. Ask me again in six months <laughs> and um, throughout the the vlogs. Please keep the questions and comments coming. Um, I love hearing from everybody. Once again, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to my channel so you can find out when I post. I try to post every week. Sometimes the internet likes me, sometimes it does not, but I do my best to get those videos out there for you. If there's something you want to see, leave a comment below so I know what you're looking forward to and what you want to know. Until next time, I'll be staying afloat.